the gospel of life, incorruption, immortality, and sonship with the bondservant of Christ, John Anosike. What's the first spirit under the seven spirits of God? The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of the Lord. The spirit of Christ. Okay? The second is the spirit of wisdom. Okay? Now, to, to one is given by the Spirit. To one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom. Now, let me give you a list of the seven spirits of God. You, you have the Spirit of the Lord, the Spirit of wisdom, the Spirit of knowledge, the Spirit of understanding, the Spirit of might, the Spirit of the fear of the Lord, and the Spirit of counsel. Now, these are the seven spirits of God. All right? Now, under the seven spirits of God, you have the spirit of wisdom. So by the spirit, by the spirit of the Lord, the spirit of wisdom under the custody of the Holy Ghost is released to give somebody the ability to operate in the wisdom of God. So it is the spirit of wisdom that gives the gift of the word of wisdom. So under the governance of the second person or the second spirits of God under the seven spirits of God, the second spirit under the seven spirit of God, you have the spirit of wisdom. He is the one that comes into the church by this spirit, by his boss. The Holy Ghost is the boss of the spirit of wisdom. The seven spirits of God are under the control of the Holy Spirit, the third person of the Godhead. And that's why the Bible speaks about the diversities of the spirit. Diversities. Diversities. Diverse spirits. Yet one spirit. Just like you have the fruit of the spirit coming from one spirit. You have joy. You have faith. You have temperance. You have endurance. You have this. You see, you see that? We have one body, but different organs, different parts, but one. So there are seven spirits under the Holy Ghost. So the spirit of wisdom grants a person an ability, a momentary ability to access the wisdom of God in the realms. So there are seven realms of the spirit. There are what? Seven realms of the spirit. The realm of wisdom. And that realm is creative. The governing wisdom and powers that created the universe. The spirit of wisdom is what upholds this earth. Through the gift of wisdom, the spirit of wisdom will manifest on earth to deliver man from foolishness. Sir, there are things prayers will not do. There are things only the spirit of wisdom will deliver you from. So we must engage the manifestation of the seven spirits of God for our perfection. I'm talking about the manifestation of spirits. Wisdom is the founder of the earth. The spirit of wisdom founded the earth. The spirit of understanding established the heavens. 
So until you are schooled by the spirit of wisdom, you can never rule the earth. <laughs> How by wisdom God founded the earth and by understanding he established the heavens. So when you ascend into the realms of heaven, the first person you will meet is the spirit of understanding who would teach you about the heavenly dimensions. It takes understanding to travel the dimensions of the heavenlies. The spirit that preserves a man on earth is the spirit called discretion. <laughs> discretion is a spirit. These are the governing powers within wisdom. Co-teachers of the spirit of wisdom. Discretion. It's a discretion shall preserve thee. <laughs> Welcome to the school of the spirit. He says, don't be afraid when they shall bring you before the kings. Don't task your mind for what to say. When you stand before the kings, don't worry, that there's a frequency of the spirit of wisdom will be released. The utterance will be given to your tongue. Because we are connected to a dimension beyond human intellect. For to one is given and by the spirit the word of wisdom to another the word of knowledge by the same spirit to another faith by the same spirit to another the gifts of healing by the same spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecy to another the zoning of spirits to another diverse kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of what the interpretation of tongues give god a big hand of praise sons of god So, so, healing comes through the manifestation of a spirit. Wake up. So, prophecy is by the manifestation of a spirit. It's not, it's, it's not, listen, it's, it's, everything is not just to believe and confess it. So, to some, he gave, okay, for, b before he gave some gifts, the foundation was laid. He said, for the manifestation of the spirit is given to every man. So when you see somebody healing, it is not by his power. It is that a certain spirit from the Holy Ghost has been given expression to manifest. It is the manifestation of the spirit. To some, the gift of healing. To some, is given the gift of walking. So a spirit is released to work miracles. It, listen, every supernatural is a manifestation of the spirit. Oh God. I, so the Bible says for there to be genuine prophecy, the spirit of prophecy would have to be a given expression. There has to be a portal. And the reigns of prophecy for a spirit from the dimension of prophecy to surface through the tongue of the chosen one and begin to release the utterances of Zion. The manifestation of the spirit of not, not man, not anybody, it's spirits that manifest. 
You know what spirits are in the Greek? Numa. Wind. Passion. <laughs> Abilities. Yeah. When you come in contact with the spirit of wisdom, it will take you through the faculties of wisdom. It will not exceed wisdom. Then he will pass you on to the spirit of knowledge. <laughs> You'll be schooled by the spirit of might, power, capacity to war, tenacity, resistance, power. Might, a spirit of might. <laughs> Every problem you have now can be dissolved by finding the spirit in charge. Special announcement from the office of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Please beware of fake accounts on social media, be it Facebook, YouTube, and all others impersonating the man of God, asking for funds from people. Please note, Pastor John does not have any orphanage in Nigeria or in any country, nor does he ask anyone to donate to any orphanage. Also note that the only official page of the man of God Pastor John Anosike is the one with over 451,000 followers. Our YouTube channel also has over 155,000 subscribers. Note that the man of God does not chat, send friend requests, nor inbox people on social media, be it Messenger or WhatsApp. Therefore, anyone doing such is false and should be treated as such. This is a notice that you are informed and sensitized to be alert and vigilant. Stay connected and keep subscribing to the team teachings of the bond servant of Christ, John Anosike. Due to malicious and fraudulent activities, please note that these are the only official two accounts of the ministry. For EFT or bank transfer, bank, First National Bank, FNB, account name, New World Faith Ministries, account number, 622-67035048, branch, Woodstock. Branch code 250655. Swift code FIRNZAJJ. Building Project Banking Details. City of Sons. Bank. First National Bank. FNB. Account name New World Faith Ministries. Account number 623 Branch code 250655. Branch, Woodstock. Swift code, F-I-R-N-Z-A-J-J. To give online, kindly visit our website and use the following link. www.spiritrevelationchurch.org forward slash give. Here, you can give via Payfast for those that are in Southern Africa and PayPal for international donations. Good news for all those living in West Africa. For your giving and donations, here are the only official and approved banking details. Name, Ikechuku John Anosike. Account number, 11700020753. Bank, Zenith Bank. Please note that the following is our official and only PayPal email for the ministry. Donations at spiritrevelationchurch.org. Kindly report any suspicious activities to our emergency line plus two seven six three four two three five eight nine five or email info at spiritrevelationchurch.org. <laughs>